before it's too late. And talking of the smallest of species, the smallest lemur is the mouse lemur. And although not technically endangered, this nocturnal lemur, of course, is as threatened as its habitat. And bearing in mind 80% of Madagascar's forests have disappeared, this cute little creature's future has to be shaky. Mouse lemurs are extremely social animals. They hang out in breeding groups and during the day can sleep as many as 15 to a nest. They feed mainly on tiny insects which live on tree bark. They're also known to eat sap and gum that excretes from some trees. They're also partial to fruit. These tiny primates are watched closely by this civet. It may look as though it belongs to the cat family, but it is actually a kind of mongoose. But the really threatened species of Madagascar, of course, are the larger lemurs. Like these ring-tailed lemurs who are out for a stroll. The famous tail of this lemur is more than decoration. Pointing skywards as if defying gravity, this tail is used by other ringtails for recognition. But the tail is also used as a sensor to waft pheromones through the air. This is part of a ritualized aggression. Unlike many of the other lemurs, the ringtail has little or no difference between male and female of the species. Whereas the black lemur is black, the female looks like it's a totally different animal altogether. She is red and brown with white ear tufts. This species is quite hardy and hang out in groups of up to 15 animals. Some groups have more than one male. The female only gives birth to a single offspring once a year, usually between September and November. This youngster is only a few weeks old. She hangs on tight to her mother's back. The black lemur and these crowned lemurs are quite happy to mate with each other. These wonderfully coloured lemurs are in fact hybrid species. They are a cross between the black lemur and the crown lemur. Both of which are threatened species and because of the loss of habitat are forced to share the same forest range. The fact that two species have mated together is biologically interesting, but you're left with the question, would that happen naturally, or has the loss of habitat resulted in a freak of nature, a biological oddity? But this sort of crossbreeding hasn't happened to the ringtail lemur. It is very protective of its territory and its species seeing off any would-be intruder. Like other lemurs, the ringtails are gregarious and live in multi-male communities of about two dozen individuals. A typical ringtail lemur group will include six adult males, around nine adult females, four juveniles and four infants. Part of the problem for the survival of this species is the fact that ringtail lemurs mating season lasts a mere two weeks, sometime between March and April. And it is probable that a female can only successfully mate for about one day a year. Not a problem for common species, but when you're endangered, being able to mate on just one day every 365 is problematic. 
The newborn infants emerge around August and September and are quite precocious. And by the time they are three days old, they're up to all kinds of tricks. 